Soundcore Frames. Soundcore's first ever audio eyewear combines thinner and lightweight arms, immersive listening experience with the choice of 10 different stylish frames. A patented open surround sound system designed with four speakers positioned in front and behind your ears are paired with a custom audio processor and to produce immersive and spatial sound without blocking out the world. And let me tell you something that people if you're familiar with the Bose frames, I'll put that YouTube card right here. I did review those as well. It seems like Soundcore saw the flaws in the Bose design, put their own touch on it, and came up with these, the Soundcore frames. Now these are a thinner and more lightweight design. Audio quality is just as good as the Bose frames, if not better. They've incorporated their already dope app and all for a lower price point. You know what, stick around. Let's talk about this for a second. Wanna see some love? It's love day. I'm showing people love out here on the court. What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV. But we don't discriminate. We believe all tech deserves some love. No, the channel did not change over to a dog channel. Um, but this is the newest member of the Tech Love family, Kanan. Yes, from the TV show Power. Uh, his name was Kano, but I switched it to Kanan. In uh, three months, just got him a couple days ago. Say what's up. Hey, Chech. Before I start this video, let me go ahead and get it out the way. Soundcore did send these frames to me for review, but as always, I'm gonna keep this review honest and unbiased, give you my full opinion on everything that I love, everything I like, everything I don't like about these frames. And so, as you can see, they do they did send me a full set of frames right here, and then they also send me an extra set of additional frames. These are the Wanderer style, but I'll go over all of that here in a little bit. Now, currently you can pick this up for around $200, and obviously I put the links in the description down below. Now, for the entire set is $200, but if you just wanna buy frames alone, they're priced around $50. And these do come with 10 stylish designs, like I said earlier, and let me show you exactly what those look like. Okay, so if you go on the Soundcore site, and you could do this from the app as well, but if you want, if you just wanna check these out and see exactly how these will look on your face, if you go over to the Soundcore site, you hit uh, virtually try on um, it'll ask for access to your camera go ahead hit allow hit allow and then here you go right here as you can see um, these are the Wanderer styles I do have those right here and then you just go through here you have Harbor um, click on that it'll change the style right there you have cafe these are the ones that I'm going to buy personally because I like these for um, wearing indoors um, Then you have tour Promenade, Landmark Black, Marina, Landmark Clear, Festival, and Landmark Turquoise. And the sunglasses versions, they automatically come polarized, and then the clear versions automatically come with the blue light protection in there. That's to protect your eyes from that blue light if you're sitting in front of a computer screen, uh, staring at your phone or a tablet all day long. Um, and the long one that will help your eyes out, which I am guilty of. The battery life on these is around five and a half hours and that's at 60% volume. Obviously, if you go higher than 60%, the battery life will drop on these. Um, I would like to have seen the battery life maybe be eight plus hours, but five and a half hours I'm good with for now. Also, these do have fast charge in them, so a 10 minute charge will give you additional 90 minutes of playback time, and then also to charge these back up completely if you drain the battery is around one hour. These also have an IPX4 water resistant rating in here. This is Soundcore's first attempt at the frame so if they keep making these hopefully in the second iteration or maybe the third these will be fully waterproof ipx7 or ipx68 so that you can wear these to the pool and in the pool without worrying about getting these damaged by the water okay so quickly going around this box on the front side as you can see it says reframe your sound play on words reframe you get it on the back side it says interchangeable frames with quick release i already touched on all 10 different styles that are available for these you have spacious sound via open surround sound system, which I will go into more detail here in a little bit. Two mics for clear calls. You have your playtime and you have your IPX water resistant. Soundcore always has the really, really nice unboxing experiences. So you flip this up, you have your um, frames that you ordered right here. These are the tour style. So I do have two different styles right here. Tried both of these on already. The Wanderer, the Wander is my favorite style, which is the ones that I will be wearing majority of the time. You have your 
temples right here. This is where all the controls are, which I will go over in a little bit. You have your quick start guide and your cable right here. And then you also have a carrying case right here. And then on the inside, it gives you quick one, two, three steps, how to put these together and turn these on. And if they don't turn on automatically, I also tell you how to turn these on manually. Yeah, people, that's everything that comes inside the box. Very quickly, let me show you the case. The case is a very solid constructed case. As you can see right here, it comes in this size and then it pops up to a bigger size to obviously hold any type of frame that you have, charging cable, cleaning cloth, all of that will fit right here inside of this case. Um, it also has your sound core badge on the outside right there as well. Go ahead and set that right there. And then also you have your quick start guide in here. Let me go ahead and show all of that. Um, you have your comment card right here. How do we sound? You have a quick start guide, and I do believe this is like safety regulations and stuff like that. You have your charging cable. Now, your charging cable is unique. It is a USB type A, which is not bad. You have the two magnetic points right here, which hook onto the frame. So what you want to do, how to charge these, when you fold your frames closed, then you can just go ahead and clip these on as they're closed. And that's it. They said I was getting a cleaning cloth, but I don't see a cleaning cloth unless I'm missing something. Uh, maybe it's underneath the frames. Yeah, maybe it's underneath the frames. So let me go ahead and put all this stuff up and get back to the subject at hand. Okay, so here are your temples. Here are your frames. I'm going to go ahead and unbox the frames really quickly, see if the cleaning cloth is inside here. And like I said, these are the Wander style standard size. I'm guessing since it says standard size, there might be like a small and an extra large size or a large size. I'm not pretty sure about that. Um, but I'm just going off of what this says right here. So you have your frames right here. And then underneath that, I believe this is where you have your cleaning cloth. Okay, it says again, how do we sound? And then here's your cleaning cloth right here. And I'm guessing since you're able to buy these frames individually, each different frame will come with its own cleaning cloth. And then here are your audio temples as well. And then it's labeled left and right. Go ahead and pull these out. It's very easy to pop on. I mean, they made it very simple. Just go ahead and make sure that the logo is on the outside. Pop that on. And then there you go, pop that on. And so that's pretty much it. That's that's exactly how it works. You do have stickers on the outside. It shows you the touch areas. Let me go ahead and pull those off. And these do have touch gestures on here, which you can configure inside the app, which I will go over here in a little bit. And you do have two speakers on each. You have your speaker in the back of your ear and in the front of your ear. And you also have your charging points right here. Let me go ahead and elaborate on their open surround audio system. As you can see right here, it says four speakers positioned around your ears are driven by a custom audio processor and algorithm to fill the space with spacious and immersive sound for a tailored listening experience choose from seven levels of surround sound to go from the front row at a show to the center of the arena which i will go over inside the app and as you can see right here you have your speakers your front and back speaker right here and then it says between you and me um, two microphones work in tandem with the noise reduction algorithm to pick up your voice clearly while blocking out ambient noise and to prevent people from eavesdropping on your conversation. Soundcore frames automatically enter privacy mode when you're on a call. And I will go over all of this again inside the app and you have effortless voice control. You control these with your voice, which is very, very dope. So just like all the other audio products that Soundcore has, whether it's their speakers, their over the ear headphones, their earbuds, they all incorporate the app, and it's no different when it comes to these Soundcore frames. These Soundcore frames are nicely integrated inside the app as well. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and download the Soundcore app. I already have that right here. So just run through the steps. It tells you to go to your Bluetooth settings and hook these up. So let me show you my Bluetooth settings, Wi-Fi. I already have the Soundcore frames down here. Um, let me hit on those, so those will be connected. And they said, like they said, if they don't automatically connect, you can go ahead and hold on to these um, right here in the temples until they turn back on and to manually connect them. They automatically turned on and then now they are connected. So let me go back to the app. It's going to search for them since they're in there. And here they go. So I'm going back to the main screen of the app. If you don't have these frames or if you don't have any Soundcore products, you can still go on here and you can see the main screen. If you click on the Soundcore frames icon at the top. You can also go here to virtually try this on. So you can actually go to the website or you can download this app to virtually try this on. And obviously, I already have these. So let me go ahead and pull these up 
And this is your main screen for the app right here. And then you have your back button, which just goes back to all your items. Um, you have your question mark up here, which is your help sound core frames. It gives you how to videos and stuff like that. Um, you have your battery status right there. And then you can also change out the frame. So depending on what frame you have, you can just go ahead and adjust that. Uh, I have the Wanderer, so that's what I'm going to set that to. And then you have your open surround right here. It says, our unique dual speaker design delivers open here surround sound for a concert like experience when turned on it will be applied to all EQs I have it turned on and set the two you can tell a slight difference when you're toggling between those but it's not a huge dr drastic difference and keep in mind people that these are an open sound device so don't expect like some mind-blowing sound it is specifically for being able to hear your environment around you so you're not going to get like the amazing audio quality that you think you're going to get from like headphones or earbuds so just Get that thought out of your head and remember these are open sounds so when you get these that's that's what they're made for okay so i had to put these on simply because um i have them set so if they're off my face for i think three minutes to automatically cut off so let me run through the rest of this app with these on so you have your privacy mode and like i said before um it says use in relatively quiet environments to, re to reduce sound leakage maintain privacy and avoid dis disturbing others around you so you can put that on and have it at a lower volume and it automatically goes into privacy mode once you're on a phone call i like having it on the default equalizer but as you can see they do have acoustic bass booster bass reducer and classical and then you also can customize your eq look at the customization of the eq on here for some frames people it's just for some frame not for some earbuds bows if you see this take notes Update your equalizer on your app so that people can do this type of customization so they can get a better sound, uh, more tailored sound out of their um, out of your products than what you guys want them to be. But anyways, I digress. I keep it on the default equalizer. Um, you have warning detection right here. You can turn that off and on. It says music automatically starts and plays when the frames are being worn and it's automatically paused when they are being removed. So I like having that on. Um, you have your wear calibration right here. It gives you steps one and steps two. I already did that earlier, so I'm not going to run through that again. You also have your controls. Now, as you can see at the very top, it says double tap audio temples. And then you have your options left and right. I double tap my left one. That brings up my voice assistant. And you can obviously change that to play, pause, and to none. And for my right Right one it's the same thing I just have that set to play pause now you can also do a uh, swipe audio temple which is a different set of gestures and so left audio temple swipe front front to back that'll turn the volume down back to front will turn the volume up and you can change these to whatever you like that's just um, the how I have these set up and then on the right one as you can see the right audio temple swipe front to back go to your previous back to four goes to next and then like I say you can still do the volume or none um, if you don't want these gestures to take place at all um, you also have laboratory functions right here you have your voice control and I do have voice control on and voice control works amazing so let me go ahead and uh, put a song on and show you exactly how the voice control works resume playing there you go resume playing is the word stop playing next song previous song volume up volume down stop playing and so also they do have uh answer the call and reject the call when uh phone calls are coming in so the voice control on here is super dope i really like that and it works really good now if it was a lot of environment i'm not sure how much it will work um but in the meantime it's there it works pretty good for right now um also under voice control you can select the language for voice control um which is coming soon i guess and the no wake command so uh those are options that are coming soon i'm guessing since it's not right there and it says power off in three seconds wear frames and press the logo area on either temple for three seconds you will hear the power off sound avoid accidentally pressing the touchpad during use i got it so that's um your power off right there i'm not going to uh do that well you know what i'm gonna leave that on I got it. And then <clears throat> you have your serial number, your update fir your update firmware, quick start guide, and user manual. And so this is where you check for firmware updates. Your quick start guide takes you to obviously quick start guide and your user manual. And that's pretty much it for 
the app. I really love that Soundcore has incorporated this app. I love these trans. I mean, they're lightweight. They sound really good, if, in my opinion. And not for sound quality, people. Like I said before, these are an open style audio device. So don't expect to have just jaw-dropping, mind-blowing sound coming out of these. Can it get better? Yes. As technology advances, um, they can have better speakers or more direct sound going towards your ears. But in the meantime, they do a really good job of directing the sound straight towards your ears from these four speakers. And they sound, in my opinion, just as good, if not better than the Bose product. You can also adjust the EQ. And I know you're thinking it's not that much of a change because it's open sound and it's not inside your ears. You are absolutely right. But the option is there to adjust the EQ to get it as close to what you want as possible when it comes to open sound design. And that is my take on the audio quality. Okay, people. And so as you're hearing my voice right now, this is how another person will hear you when you're on a phone call. I tested these out and I was talking to my father. I didn't even mean to turn these on, but I was on FaceTime with him. I showed these frames to him and I put them on. They were automatically connected to my mobile device and they automatically switched on. And he said that they sound amazing. He actually, he asked me, why are you talking so loud? Um, so the quality in here is really good, but I will let you hear how these also sound with ambient noise going on in the background. So as you're gonna hear, I do have some ambient noise going on in the background. Nipsey Hussle's Victory Lap, God Bless the Dead. Um, and so this is exactly how much ambient noise is allowed to come in from these frames. So I will be quiet for a little bit and let you hear that yourself. Okay, people, and so that is my full test review for the call quality on these Bose frames. To me, they sound really good. They take calls really well, um, but I will let you be the judge when it comes to letting ambient noise in. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about that. And so when it comes to latency, these do have Bluetooth 5.2 on them and SBC and AAC codecs. I tested these out on YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, uh, Peacock, Apple TV Plus, Disney Plus, and no latency issues whatsoever. Now, when it came to gaming, I know that Razer, I do believe Razer has gaming frames out as well. More clear ones for the to protect from blue light and also with audio. And I'm pretty sure those have a super low latency mode in those. But when it came to gaming with these on, let me tell you something, people. It was very, very little latency that I've noticed. It was almost non-existent. That is my full review on these Soundcore frames. I mean, they're lightweight. They have a very, very nice design. Like I said, these are the wandering frames. These are the wander frames right here. They do have nine other ones. Good audio for open sound design. I'm a huge fan of the app. There are some changes that I would like to see on these frames. Maybe they will come out um, in the next iteration. But I would like to see an IPX7 rating or an IP68 rating to make these waterproof, not just water resistant with the IPX4 that's already in here. And the reason why I said that is because you can wear these right now to the pool, but I would be super cautious of getting in the pool with them. If these had an IPX7 rating to them, you could jump in the pool, submerge these underwater, and still have these working as advertised. So that's one change that I would like to see. And then also I would like to see a slightly longer battery life. Currently right now it's at five and a half hours at 60% volume, but I would like to see that bumped up to around eight, eight plus hours of battery life. That's all I got for you people. That is my full review on these Soundcore frames right here. If you found any value in this video whatsoever, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. And don't forget, hit that bell icon so you get notification when I drop my next tech video. As always, Thanks for stopping by the Tech Love channel. My name is Nicholas, and I'm out. Peace.